Hello everyone, in this update, today we'll talk about domestic flight travel requirements in the Philippines. So if you want to travel within the country, let's say if you're from Manila, you want to go to Davao, you want to go to Cebu, you want to go to Bohol, you want to go to Buzwanga, to Bohol, sinabi ko na yun. <laughs> so this video, we'll talk about the requirements and guys, don't worry. A lot of areas in the Philippines are very relaxed na po. Just vaccination card and yun na po. So a lot of areas uh, have relaxed na po yung travel requirements. So do not worry. Uh, I'm sure na hindi na to complicated. So let's travel. Let's start. <laughs> Before we start, the usual requirements po, as I said, most areas in the country have relaxed their requirements as the country continues to be low risk for COVID. Mababa yung cases natin, kaya maluwag yung pag-travel. Usually, ang mga requirements lang naman for domestic travel is vaccination card, ESPAS, napaka konting lugar na lang po ang humihingi ng ESPAS. Uh, may mga LGUs that have their own contact tracing form, konti lang. And then some areas, some, some tourist destinations, humihingi ng hotel booking for tourists. But whether you are a resident or a tourist, this video is for you. Now, disclaimer, travel requirements are subject to change at short notice. So, pwede pong mabago ang requirements. As always, please confirm your requirements directly to your office or website of your place of origin or destination. This is the current travel requirements as of April 2022. Let's start with the best. Ito yung pinaka the best. Manila, Davao, Clark. Pre-pandemic. Whether you are vaccinated, unvaccinated, same rules. Walang requirement. There is no requirement to enter Manila, Davao, and Clark. Just your ID. Just like the normal times. ID lang po ang kailangan para pumasok sa Manila, Davao, and Clark. And unvaccinated travelers can enter without a test result. Valid ID lang sa kalam. Ganern. Now, the next um, areas that pag uusapan natin ay areas that can, you can travel easily if you're fully vaccinated. Vaccination card or certificate lang ang kailangan. We have Cebu. If you're going to Cebu, Cebu City, Cebu Province, kahit saan sa Cebu Island, vaccination proof lang. While some areas humihingi ng negative test result pag unvaccinated. While sa Bohol, ganun din sa Bohol, vaccination card lang or certificate, mas okay po if printed. Kung meron kayo ng Vaxert PH, yan. Kung meron kayo ng LGU vaccination card na may QR code, mas okay po yan. Um, yung Vaxert PH po, pwede nyo po yung kunin online, free po yan. Um, unvaccinated, kailangan ng negative RT-PCR test result or pwede din yung saliva with Red Cross 72 hours before the flight kung unvaccinated while minors who are 11 years old and below na uh, unvaccinated, exempted basta kasama is fully vaccinated parent or guardians next we go to Samar Kalbayog vaccination proof lang pwede na mga unvaccinated, kailangan mag mag-show ng RT-PCR na 72 hours. Kung walang negative test result, pwedeng mag-quarantine. Depende po talaga sa LGU. Iba-iba kasi yung rules. Pero kung fully vaccinated ka, napakadali lang talaga. Next, we have the City of Smiles, Bacolod. If your final destination is Negros Occidental Province, vaccination proof lang. Sapat na. Kung unvaccinated na pupunta ng Negros Occidental Province, kailangan ng negative antigen test 48 hours before flight or arrival. Meron ding option na pan-arrival na lang magpa-test for free sa LGU. Yan. Kung pupunta ka ng Negros Occidental, may Fully vaccinated ka, sapat na yan. Remember guys, na to be considered fully vaccinated, kailangan 14 days pa yan after the second dose. Okay, let's go to Butuan. Vaccination card lang din. Kung unvaccinated, kailangan magpakita ng RT-PCR or antigen test 72 hours before the flight. Then we have Dipolog. Vaccination proof lang. Kung unvaccinated, kailangan ng RT-PCR or antigen test na negative. 5 days before your trip. Kung lawag, beautiful lawag, vaccination proof lang, kailangan kung fully vaccinated. 
Kung unvaccinated na above 12 years old, kailangan magpakita ng negative RT-PCR test result 60 hours before departure. Ayan. Pwede din yung antigen test um, before departure 24 hours. Yan sa mga unvaccinated. Next up, we have Dumaguete. Ang Dumaguete, madali lang din. Ma maganda sa Dumaguete. Vaccination proof lang. Whether you are vaccinated in the Philippines or abroad, it's best if you have that printed. Printed vaccination proof is highly recommended. Apart from the vaccination proof, you have to have a photocopy of your ID and your vaccination proof with your travel, uh, your contact information and yeah, contact information. So, for example, your Philippine number or email. Philippine number would be the best. Yan, photocopy lang your ID and vaccination proof. Well, for the unvaccinated going to Dumaguete, you need a negative antigen test 48 hours before departure. And then a photocopy of that result in your valid ID. Next up, we have Legaspi. Vaccination proof lang din kung fully vaccinated na. Mga unvaccinated, kailangan ng 48 hours na negative test result antigen. Then, let's go to the seafood capital of the Philippines, Rojas Capiz. Sa Rojas, you only need the, neg the vaccination proof. Pero if you are unvaccinated, you may have to show uh, RT-PCR na 72 hours. Pero according to Cebu Pacific website, iba kasi, a PAL says kailangan ng negative test result, while Cebu Pacific says hindi kailangan. So I suggest guys, visit your airline or contact the LGU kung saan ka pupunta. Next up, we have the beautiful Uzamis in Zamboanga Peninsula. Peninsula. If you're fully vaccinated, just bring your vaccination proof. While different airlines say different things. According to Cebu Pacific, if you're going to Uzamis and you are unvaccinated, um, pag 6 years old, hin exempted na siya, hindi na kailangan mag-show ng antigen test na negative. Pero PAL sabi kailangan. So, ay, according to PAL, province of Misamis Occidental, hindi na kailangan pag minor. So, check na lang po natin yung LGU natin. Kasi medyo conflicting yung statement ng PAL at Cebu Pacific. Next up, we have Siargao. Siargao is a very popular tourist destination of this beautiful white sand, clear, blue, crystal clear na beach. Yan, Siargao, pag, may vaccin pag fully vaccinated ka, yan lang yung kailangan mo. While if you are unvaccinated, kailangan ng negative test result. 17 years old below are exempted sa negative test result kung unvaccinated. While Tacloban, Tacloban po, if you're fully vaccinated, just bring your vaccination proof and your valid ID and that's it. For the unvaccinated, they have to show negative test result. Then we have Tawi-Tawi. Um, vaccination proof lang. And even first dose can enter the province. So kahit first dose lang, tatanggapin na sa Tawi-Tawi. That's good. That's good con consideration, Tawi-Tawi. Pero if you are unvaccinated going to Tawi-Tawi, you need a negative RT-PCR test result po. Except, exempted po yung children below 12 years old. Then we have Zamboanga, same thing, just vaccination proof lang. And then, kung unvaccinated, kailangan ng RT-PCR 5 days before departure. Exempted po yung children below 18. Then, other areas in the country that... Um, uh, accepts vaccination proof instead of negative test result and some forms, others. Let's start with Boracay. For those who want to go to Boracay, let's start with the requirements of residence. For Boracay or Calibu residents, um, you have to register po sa touristburacay.com. Even if you are resident, kailangan din mag-register. But register under returning a clanon. And then, a, a government ID with a clan address, your vaccination proof, um, travel details, kasi kailangan yun sa pag-register sa tourist, touristburacay.com. And then, certificate of undertaking, dito po sa website na aklan.gov.ph. Yan, I'll just put the uh, link sa, ano guys, sa comment section ha. That's for Kalibu residents. Well, for those who want to go to Boracay for tourism, here we have, you have to register to touristburacay.com. You have to register under tourist. 
category then your vaccination proof you need to be fully vaccinated so that you won't have to show a negative test result then round trip transportation details a confirmed hotel booking or reservation from any department of tourism accredited accommodation establishment so there's a list to that i'll just put it in the description box so here's the list for boracay accredited hotels and resorts for tourists here's the list sorry i'm um, taking a long time our internet's not so fast here it is hotel resort accommodation yeah for anyone who wants to go to boracay i'll just put this link in the description box and aside from that children years old and under need to um, register to certificate of undertaking that's for children 12 years old or under okay um, for unvaccinated tourists who want to go to Boracay, um, you have to show a negative RT-PCR test taken 72 hours before travel. Yan, and the test should be done by a DOH accredited se testing center. Except we have a colored vaccination proof at saka mag-register lang po tayo sa contact tracing website ng Bacolod City. That's Backtrack backtrack.bacolodcity.gov.ph ito po yun. sa mga pupunta ng Bacolod City just register here po yan citizens for Bacolod City mag-register lang po tayo dito this is the contact tracing app of Bacolod City yan backtrack.bacolodcity.gov.ph okay for the unvaccinated who are going to Bacolod City kailangan ng rapid antigen test na 48 hours how about Antique? Sa Antique is just like Boracay. Kailangan ng confirmed hotel or resort booking and then vaccination proof. Pero if unvaccinated, you can still travel to Antique. Kailangan ng negative test result na RT-PCR 3 days before departure. Pwede din yung valid medical certificate of exemption or recovery. Yung sa mga hindi pwedeng bakunahan, kailangan na lang kayong mag-show ng certificate of exemption galing sa doktor na hindi kayo pwede vaccinan. Then we have BASCO. Medyo complicated ang BASCO kasi, you know, diba, 2020-2021, halos wala talagang pinapapasok sa BASCO. So to enter BASCO po, kailangan ng letter or certificate of acceptance at saka approved SPAS. You have to coordinate with the Batanes Province Government. You, you can visit them on Facebook po. Contact them on Facebook dito. Batanes Province. Ito po yung website nila, o. Oh. O Facebook page nila kung gusto nyo mag-coordinate sa Batanes. Kung gusto nyo pumunta sa Basco. Then we have Cotabato, vaccination proof lang. And then mag-register din sa contact tracing website ng Cotabato City. That's um, southcotabato.ph slash web. Ito po, kung pupunta kayo ng South Cotabato, kailangan mag-register dito. Pwede nyo gumamit ng phone, pwede din sa laptop or computer or tablet. Sa mga unvaccinated na gusto pumunta ng Cotabato, kailangan mag-show ng negative RT-PCR test result 72 hours before departure. Next up, we have Kulion. Medyo complicated itong Kulion. Kailangan ng approved SPAS. Sa SPAS, you have to submit the vaccination proof. And then for tourists, you need a confirmed DOT, Department of Tourism Accredited and LGU Licensed Hotel Tour or divide, Diving Bookings. Yan. For tourists going to Colion, you need to show a Department of Tourism, Hotel or Resort or Tour Booking. And then you have to submit your vaccination proof sa ESPAS, espas.gov.ph. While for the unvaccinated going to Colion, you need to show a negative RT-PCR test result taken 72 hours before departure. For Jensen po, vaccination proof lang. And mag-register sa tapat QR code. According to PAL, kailangan mag-register sa tapat QR code ng Jensen. Kung pupunta ng Jensen. Pero sa PAL, ay sa Cebu Pacific, hindi na kailangan mag-register dito. So, iba yung, iba yung sa PAL, iba yung sa Cebu pa. Yeah. So, that's tapat QR code sa General Santos. For those going to Jensen and unvaccinated, you need to show a negative RT-PCR test 48 hours before arrival. Then we have the beautiful 
uh, island of Buzwanga. You need to show approved SPAS. In SPAS, you have to upload your vaccination proof. For tourists, you, know, you need confirmed Department of Tourism accredited and LGU licensed hotel, tour, or diving bookings. And then round trip ticket. Yan. Unvaccinated, you need to show RT-PCR 48 hours. And that's it, guys, for all areas. Diba, majority of areas in the country, but basta fully vaccinated na, easy travel na lang. As a reminder, and as a, um, I just wanna say it again, the travel requirements po changes anytime. Please confirm the requirements directly to LGU or website if you want to confirm sa airline. Pero, if you want to, guys, if you want, guys, to visit yung source of information ko sa PAL, uh, ano yung mga travel requirements na kasulat na po yan sa website? I'll just put this link on the comment section so you guys can check it out yourselves. So for example, yan Rojas, just like we talked about earlier, vaccination proof lang. While mga unvaccinated, kailangan ng ganito. Yun lang guys. While Cebu Pacific also outlines the requirements in their website. So this is the Cebu Pacific. If you're flying with Cebu Pacific, check it out here po. Naglo-loading pa. Medyo matagal ang loading. Um, sorry for that. Our internet is not the fastest. You already know PLDT. Okay, let's just go to Air Asia. If you're flying with Air Asia, meron din nakapost ang Air Asia ng lahat ng requirements for all countries, for all domestic places. Dito sa travel requirements. Ayan. Scroll down lang, Iloilo, Cebu Province, Puerto Princesa, Tagbilaran. Yan, nakalagay na dito, guys. So, just check the airline's website, guys. Pero yung pinakita ko sa inyo, ito na yun summarized na para mas madaling maintindihan. So, check it out yourself sa website, guys, ha, before your trip. I hope na nakatulong ang video na ito. And if it did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Safe travels. And as always, print everything. Arrive 2 to 3 hours before departure. Kasi even 1 minute ma-miss mo lang yung flight mo. Let's say you arrive uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes before the flight. The airline can say no, can refuse boarding. Pwede kang man no show. So please arrive early for your flight. 2 to 3 hours would be the best. But I hope this video helped you. And if it did, share it. God bless you all and stay safe. Bye!